Would you date a bus driver? You. Why does it feel like there's this recurring habit of this type of video where you ask X woman, would she date X position? And then you turn up in arms when her answer is no to said question. Like, why does this continue to happen? And depending on the uploader of the video, the comment section goes one or two ways. It's either, you know, okay, that's her preference or die alone, die alone, get a cat, die alone, buy your house, buy yourself, die alone, die alone, buy a cat, buy a dog, die alone. Like, why does the comment section go either way? Why do we ask certain women in certain positions this question and not others? Meaning Ebony K. Williams, attorney, you know, New York housewife, lives in New York City, one of the most expensive cities. You, we always ask the doctors, the lawyers, the entrepreneur women. You never ask the ex position that you're asking about. So for the example, ask her, would she date a bus driver? You never ask a woman bus driver, would she date the same position? When you ask these questions, would you date the worker at this? Why don't you ever ask the female equivalent of worker at this? You always ask the same person, and it's because you want the comment section to go off. You want it to be, uh, no, 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 that's die alone, die alone, die alone. When you could ask someone else and get a different response. Even in this video, they asked Iana. Iana asked the question, would you? Ebony said no. Iana said yes. 50%. One person said no. One person said yes. But the continuous, I say, agenda of this is... The Ebony said no, so let's hound the Ebony's. You're not focusing on the fact that Iana said she would. Focus on the Iana's. Go after the Iana's. Date the Iana's. Ebony has made her preference clear on what she prefers to date, but yet the humbling of Ebony is upon us. It's like, well, you gotta uh, come down. Uh, we're up in arms when we're ignoring the fact that one person said they would. One person 100% said they would. So how many times are we going to go through this rat race wheel of humbling X person when they said they wouldn't instead of going after the person who said they would? It's the berating of the person who said I wouldn't because I, in in my mind, the way I'm reading it is they want the Ebony's. They don't want the Giannis. They want the Ebony's. So let's berate the Ebony's until they cower down and say, OK, 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 and change their minds when you have people whose minds don't need to be changed and they're saying they would date, why, why is this humbling only have, it feels like in our community, you know, this humbling, this, uh, we're going to die. Like, why is this happening? Let them die alone. If that's what, what you think is going to happen, if you think they're going to be sad, miserable people, why not just let them be sad, miserable people? I'm not understanding.